Hi there, and welcome to episode 4. I thought I would start out today with a small farming run, put a meter 8 mil total farming XP. I wanted to get started on some of the upgrades I've been wanting for the account, and the only place I could really think to start was with everyone's favourite boss, but not a boss, Barrows. So I want to run through what gear I'll be using for this grind, as it might be a bit higher tier than some players who are looking at this video and want an idea of what to use. But there's plenty of information out there on the wiki for all player levels, as this is one of the most common starting points for most accounts looking for some small upgrades in their armour, or just a beginner introduction into bossing. I'll be going with the Nezi, a Glory, Major in a 2 cape, Arams top and bottom, but I might change this if I need a bit more tank gear, Infinity Boots, Ivans, Tome of Fire, Barrows Gloves, and then with a range switch of a Rune Crossbow and Broad Bolts, and then the Whip for the KC. I'll take you through this first run and then just show the rewards from then on, stopping with anything significant. The route I like to take, as I think it best utilises your prayer, is Darok, Aram, Carol, Guthins, Torag, and finishing with Varric. As the first three are the only three that you really need to pray against, because they can deal a huge amount of damage to you, which can obviously halt your run before you get started. And then the last three, with a bit of good armour and some good food, you can just tank them. I always keep a prayer potion on me in case I have one of the first three as my final tunnel. All of the brothers, with the exception of Aram, I'm using Ivan's Blast to kill, uh, as they have no mage defence, so it's a great DPS item. For Arams, this is where my rune crossbow comes in, as it provides better DPS due to Arams' magic defence. After finishing off the fifth brother, I'll head back to my chosen tunnel, and then I'll run through the maze to get my reward. I'll be then using the whip to get my potential up to between 73 and 88% for the best rewards, and then we will see if I get lucky or not on this run.
unfortunately this run we just get runes so I'll just teleport back to my house restore my stats and then teleport straight back here with the Nexus for the next set of runs after that first run I did go and do another one managed to just get some more runes so not that great but on the very next one I got a bit carried away with the potential and got 100% which is the only way you can get the dragon medhelm from Darrow's so I've got that now first one on the account it's going to be great for my stash units going forward Finally on my 170 second chest I managed to pull the first item of the grind. Unfortunately, although this is a high priced item, this is a duplicate Aram skirt, but still great to get on the account. And as everyone knows, you have to pull for the back to back, but on this occasion it was just runes. So back to the drops. <laughs> Then after grinding a long day at Barrows I decided that I didn't want anything better than to just go back to my Slayer task which was Kraken. So I started off by getting 200k seat Kraken and then continued this relatively short break uh, by getting 300k seat. Unfortunately still no trident from this boss which is a bit disappointing for the progression on the account but we keep going. In this video I managed a total of 65 barrows completions and got only the one drop. A bit unlucky but my overall luck has still been great here. With 225kc total I've had 9 unique items and 14 items in total. So I can't really complain. Ultimately I would love to max and complete all the collection log on this account. So I will whenever I get the chance be back to the beginner boss to hunt for those missing items. But for now that's all until next time.